Hello and welcome to another You Cannot Delegate Communication video. I am excited to be here on today's topic. I know that a lot of you have asked me this in the past around feeling like you want to be more assertive or how do you communicate and be more assertive without offending people or being aggressive, those types of things. So today is all about how you can be more assertive. I'm Melanie Wood and I am your communication and leadership speaker. And I'm here to help you step up, step out and lead yourself and lead your teams. So are you a manager leader? Maybe you're an emerging leader. Or are you a business owner with teams? And do you ever find that you're just being pulled in all directions by everybody? You're working longer hours because you're people pleasing, because you're always putting the needs of other people first, or that you are saying yes, when really you want to say no, but you've got into that hamster wheel of, consistently putting everybody else first and you're now at the point of I can't do it anymore because you're tired exhausted and you just know that you need to be able to say no or you've said in the past no and it's came across in a bit of an aggressive way so you're maybe at that point where you think how can I be assertive without being aggressive but also being seen and heard so today we're going to start right back at the basics to be able to help you be more assertive. But also think about this is that, do you want to become boundary bosses, right? Because people pleasing, saying yes instead of saying no, being able to be assertive is setting boundaries. So I really want you to stand up, tall or sit up tall wherever you are watching this video and I want you to see yourself as the boundary boss because these are the steps to be able to become more assertive because you're setting boundaries and this is a place where you can actually reduce those distractions stop people pleasing stop saying yes when you really need to say no to reduce your hours of how much that you're doing in a day for so many other people and you're then staying late or doing work on the weekends because you haven't been able to say no and set those boundaries so that's what we're going to talk about today so for you to become a boundary boss to be able to be more effective in your communication, to be more assertive. And you can do this and still be gentle in your approach, still be empathetic. But what I want you to think about for yourself is that being able to reduce stress, not feeling like you're putting out fires left, right and center, having 20 tabs open, notepads open, and then ending the day with, what did I actually get done today? So if that is you, keep watching and I'm going to give you some top tips to be able to help you be able to do that. So either take notes or come back and refresh yourself on this video at a later time, whatever suits you, wherever you are watching this. So what we want to do is reduce your stress, increase your productivity and be able to not have to sit there and put out fires consistently every day or take home work as well and sometimes you might have to but I want to be able to help you to be able to reduce some of those and not have to do it all the time. Now I use these types of things with my own clients and it makes so many changes. Again I'm a big believer in one step at a time but it starts with you and we have to start setting some boundaries and communicating those boundaries assertively as well. So here is something that I want you to think about is that where are you on a scale of one to 10 on being assertive? So where are you sitting right now out of one to 10? Now, the next question that I would like you to answer or write down, note down mentally is where would you like to be in that scale of one to 10 for assertiveness? and becoming that boundary boss that I know that you are, 
in say three, six, 12 months time, where would you like to start to see yourself progressing? So maybe you're a five and maybe in six months time, you would like to be a seven. That's a way in which you're going to be able to come back down to step by step each day in order to get there. So what I really want you to think about is you want to take your power back because a lot of the times when you say yes instead of no, people pleasing put everybody first before you is that you're giving away your power every single time you do that and you become more stressed. So I want you to take back the power and here's one thing, because again, I'm all about the one thing that I want you to do. Maybe you haven't done this before. Maybe you haven't done it for a while, because again, for human, things happen. So say, for instance, in your workplace or in your office or within your business, and you're constantly getting disrupted every single day with people calling you, asking you questions, walking into your office, or you have an open plan and people are just constantly coming up to you all the time and you consistently give them the answers and then what happens in that is that then all of the team members know that they can come to you and get the answers and it's a quicker way of doing it so they don't have to really go away and solve that for themselves because they know within two minutes they can get the answer they go on within their day and it takes you another 45 minutes to really get back into what you were doing and then someone else comes and interrupts you. And it's a constant hamster wheel that you begin to be on. So the first thing that I would like you to do is, if you're in a place where you have your own office, then I want you to begin to start shutting the door. Half an hour, an hour, build up from there. But you want to be able to communicate with your teams what happens when that door is shut. Because this is a time where you can actually solely get the task done that you really need to get done without disruptions. But it's communicating assertively that these are the reasons why and giving them the steps of what it is that they need to do. Because here's the, the, the thing that can happen. You get to increase productivity, but you also empower your teams to problem solve because they can't keep consistently coming to you for the answer, or they need to be able to batch up questions to come to you later to be able to do that. So I want you to start whether or not it's something you haven't done for a while, you haven't done before, or if you're in an open plan office, then you need to openly communicate with everybody. Maybe it's just putting a sign. Maybe it's like a name card. When that sign is up, they cannot disrupt you. So again, what works for you, but that's one thing that you can do, become that boundary boss, become assertive in why you're doing it, what happens in those times and where people need to go or what happens in that scenario. That becomes assertive and it becomes that you're setting your boundaries for you. You're taking back your power, reducing your stress and increasing productivity for you and your teams as well. So I hope that's been helpful for you today and you're able to get started with that to become more assertive and become that boundary boss that I know that you are. If you haven't um, liked or commented or subscribed to this channel, please do now. I'd love to hear your progress as well in the comments. Please do come back and let me know. I'd love to hear how you're progressing with all of these weekly communication tips and tools and steps. So that's it for me today. Remember that you cannot delegate communication. It starts with you. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye for now.